Hello and welcome, I'm JD and yesterday over on the Discord the full lineup of OSP equipment and weapons was released um, or at least the modules were uh, released, they still need to go through texturing and uh, UV and whatnot. Um, so today I thought it'd be a good idea to go through those and to cross reference with Devlog26 um, from what we know there and what we can confirm because I haven't gotten around to making that video yet. Now I am doing something different uh, with the mic for this video. I'm recording directly into my editing software, so I just want to give a test, see how that goes, um, and then um, that may actually speed up my workflow for things such as battle report videos, etc. So just let me know how the audio sounds uh, down in the comments, and then I can refine it from there. So let's start with what we know. So the first thing that we can um, draw from Devlog 26 is the T30. Now the T30 is a 100mm cannon. Um, it's got a high auto loader uh, capacity and is designed for that alpha strike um, like a lot of the OSB uh, weapons are uh, as Mazer describes popping out from cover unleashing a high alpha strike on the enemy and then being able to break contact and reposition so we can see it um, within devlog 26 where Mazer shows it up uh, nice and close and what gives it away in my mind is the t30 is that if Mazer shows off the line ships for the OSP and you can see that um, on the left hand side the ship is fully equipped with T30s and then you can see the T30 shape uh, with that distinctive uh, quad cannon setup. And Mazer then also talks about um, the T30 having a smaller counterpart so uh, with the T30 being a class 4 and then uh, likely a class 2. You can see that within the uh, images uh, on the screen here just based on the size uh, of those squares you can see that uh, the class 4 is quite large and then what I, I assume is the um, the smaller version of the T30 off to the left hand side um, you can see how much smaller it is and likely to fit on that small amount so uh, I'll just play the clip in the background but you can see that the high rate of fire uh, coming off the aligned ship uh, with the T30 uh, absolutely putting out a huge amount of shots now 100 millimeters isn't really going to um, be penetrating too far into a, uh, a battleship uh, so there will be other things that we will be able to then uh, talk about later on in this that will then uh, I think go hand in hand with the t um, with the T30 in order to help it bypass the higher arm of the Alliance ships. So the next thing that we can um, identify from Devlog 26 is what Mazer uh, lovingly refers to as the big defender and it is quite distinct again it has the two rotary cannons in a, a vertical configuration so there does seem to be a little bit of difference between the image that was released um, yesterday which is on the left hand side as well as um, what was released in devlog 26 which is on the right and it just seems to be around that top antenna it just seems to be a little bit off maybe it's the angle but you can clearly see uh, based on the two rotary cannons in the middle and then the little control panel or maybe even it's like an optical sensor or something just off to the uh, sort of top right of the um, the rotary cannons that you can clearly see that the big defender is going to be that model now if a defender is already pumping out a fair amount of fire and you're going to put on then say two cannons uh, two rotary cannons onto one so you know it's like a double defender for the same space it'll be interesting to see how, how strong that is uh, when it's taking down missiles maybe it's going to make it a lot easier uh, for shooting down things such as torpedoes on those size threes um, and then your standard size twos and then as it is now hybrids are just maybe able to get through uh, as they are but something like this will definitely help protect OSB ships. Finally the last thing that we can sort of 100% say uh, for certain or make an association with is the uh, Dumbfire rocket. You can see the the very distinct MLRS shape both in a smaller pattern which is showed off in the devlog and then the larger pattern uh, next to it being the um, I, I imagine just the, the exact same but it looks like it's got an extra uh, nine torpedoes maybe on it let me if i was to zoom in so it looks like there's uh, a small one with 18 and then you've got a larger one in a three by four by three uh what's that 12 36 rockets so you got an 18 and then a, a 36 pattern on with the 36 um having that larger footprint or class size if you wanted to to look at it that way and so with the turreted uh missile launchers it's going to fire size one rockets no seekers so positioning is going to be very important for these types of weapons as we were basically just firing them off into the abyss and then hoping for the best. And so this could be coupled with other types of missiles that uh, maybe we haven't seen uh, fire a couple size one rockets in there to chew up a bit of the uh, point defense of in uh, the Alliance warships first or it could be used as um, potentially putting on ships in order to uh, either engage nice and close so with 100 millimeters, obviously with 100 millimeter weapons, for example, having a very short range, and you couple that with some rockets, you drive in nice and close, you're sort of not going to be able to miss. 
or if you have it on other ships, for example, that you then may be able to, uh, towards the end of the battle, jump in close, uh, use them to finish off the enemy. So with those three that we can confirm from the devlog out of the way, let's have a look at the rest of the photos and see what we can see based on the other pieces of information from devlog 26. So Mazer says just before uh, he starts to show off the Conquest game mode map uh, that he has been working on is the other types of weapons that will support the OSP um, lineup. And these include broadside cannons, and we can see that here on the um, right-hand side of the T-30 on the image on the screen. You can see the sort of smaller and then progressively larger uh, cannons uh, that are going to be able to fit on some of those mounts uh, on the, those line ships. So we did have a look uh, in earlier uh, videos where they have those deep but narrow mounts um, on the sides of the ship. So that's likely those broadside emplacements. We related those to the Class 3 mounts of the light cruiser in, uh, I think, one of the very, very early videos. Uh, when we were shown the internal uh, mock-ups. Mazer then also mentions uh, plasma ampules, uh, which will melt the armor of the larger ships. So uh, potentially you melt the armor with those types of weapons and then you use uh, the 100 millimeter high rate of fire uh, HEAP combinations in order to punch through into the internals. Uh, so somewhere in those broadside uh, options there is likely those between the MLRS and what I would absolutely call another railgun because that looks very much like a, a railgun uh, spinal mount that you would see uh, for a destroyer. Uh, that one in the middle uh, also looks like the model sort of in the middle uh, which has the two uh, cylinders out the back has the exact same type of barrel as does one of the, um, as does one of the uh, likely broadside options. Uh, on the very far right hand side of of the image on the screen so uh, and i'll just highlight those with arrows so that you don't have to um, guess what is actually uh, what i'm talking about because i'm looking at multiple different photos here and so with that we can have a look at the other two uh, pieces of uh, information that were released in the form of models so there's um, the big defender that we've already called out and we've seen and then there's three other options there which uh, we could all speculate on there's another rotary uh, type weapon there's something that looks like a big camera and then um, sort of like that arm thing in the middle uh, all of them look like they have little sensor spots on them uh, they all look to be the same size as that class one so you, if we use the big defender model um, and we and from what we know of the alliance uh, size one uh, point defense they all seem to be about the same size and we're assuming that all the same squares are in the background uh, across all the uh, photos here are, are about the same size so uh, these are likely point defense options, but uh, we don't really have anything to go off uh, other than what the Alliance point defense options currently are and how they operate. Got any ideas of uh, what these are, what these are? Throw them down in the comments below and we'll see what happens uh, with the next devlog when it gets released. Uh, this final photo, this is absolutely uh, electronic warfare. You can tell by uh, it's all dishes and um, antennas. So there's obviously a dish on the left hand side. Uh, which could be an jammer or an illuminator or something like that. Uh, communications or radar jamming. You've got um, that cil cylinder next to it and you can draw real life comparisons to a number of different uh, pieces of equipment around the world uh, for that. Uh, there's something in the middle as well. Um, that one I'm not necessarily sure in terms of uh, relating to real life uh, application. And on the right, that's definitely an antenna. So if you know what type of antenna that may be, um, or what it's used for if there's any real life comparisons you can draw out uh, again let me know put it down in the comments and maybe we can uh, come back at, and look at some of these comments when um, these are all released and see who got it right or who was the closest now the final thing that i want to go through uh, within this and this is all from the devlog uh, 26 so if you've seen that you, you already know what these are but we've talked about all the line ships for the osp and the modularity about them all and i'm not going to rehash that because i think we've done that to death but the Devlog 26 shows off a new type of um, line ship hull, and that is the freighter. And then the gimmick with the freighter, or its effective purpose, is as a missile carrier. And unlike all the other uh, missiles that are currently within the game, which are technically missiles, are uh, leaning heavily into the OSP uh, narrative of uh, freight ships and bolt cruisers and um, all the like, which have been repurposed for war. Uh, we've got container missile. <laughs> Have a look at the, the container missiles being launched um, from the freighter. There's, um, they're, they're quite massive. They uh, look quite interesting. Uh, I would love to see my player logo slapped on the side of that uh, as it's like JD Shipping Company has come to deliver death. Um, and yeah, you can see that um, if we go back to the editor, there is also the specific module there that allows us to have a look at that. So 
you've got the um it'll be interesting to see how these play if they are have more health than a size 3 torpedo or if they have the same sort of a speed or if they're slightly slower or how you get these containers into combat without them being shot down um, are they just something that you release on mass you know we've got the programming channels um, that are obviously in play as well so just being able to dump a whole bunch of them um, continuously could become a thing i can't wait to see how this plays out uh, and then you know does it have its own particular type of he warhead do we see something different does it use the he kp i have a lot of questions around container missiles at the moment that um, i think we'll figure out or we'll be shown more in later devlogs or when we get our hands on play testing all right look that's it from me um i hope to get a few more videos out uh once i start to see how this uh, audio recording goes it's definitely easier to uh, do voiceovers for games that i've already recorded without having to do it the previous way i was doing which is a lot of aligning and manual handling and editing and hopefully i can finish up at work in the sort of in the next fortnight or so get some time off over christmas and hopefully belt out a couple uh, or a lot more videos than i have been uh, with just a, a bit of time off uh, under my belt uh, to do that so as always thanks for watching and take care